Сегодня мы читаем что-то Бхагавата, 10 песни, 46 главу, которая называется «Уна посещает Вриндаву», текст 44 по 46. Радгаятинам, Арабиндалочанам, Арабиндалочанам, Раджангананам,
Перевод. Женщины в Раджа громко пели о подвигах лотоса около Кришны. Все песни сливались со звуками фактали и, поднимаясь к небу, повсюду разгоняли свои приемы. Purport. The gopis were absorbed in thought of Krishna and were thus feeling his presence. Therefore, they could joyfully sing. Комментарий. Гопи были погружены в мысли о Кришне и благодаря этому ощущали его присутствие, а потому песни были веселыми. Ома гьяна тимарандасья гьяна джана шавакая Чакшуниля гьяна асмайши гурабе нама Чайтанья мано виша виша питам ясна бутаде Дуваям рупата дама ямута дати свапарантитам Бандехам шри гуру шри лапада хамала Shri Guru Vaishnavamsa Shri Rupam Sagrachatam Sahakata Raghunatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sarvaitam Sarvajutam Parijana Sanitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Param Sahakana Ravita Shri Vishakha Vitam Shri Krishna Karana Sindhu 
So Uddhava arrived in Vrindavan in the evening, just as the cows were all coming back from the pasture. So he didn't get to meet everyone, he just came there in the evening and he was immediately in, put in touch with Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda. Uddhava, on entering Vrindavan, he was struck by the transcendental beauty of the place. <coughs> Most of us probably were from cities. We don't have so much appreciation for the transcendental beauty of a, a cowherd village. Hmm. But this, of course, Vrindavan's village is not just any ordinary cowherd village but it's a very special cowherd village because in this village everyone is completely devoted to Lord Krishna. So two things very important. They have Krishna and they have cows also. They have Lord Krishna, who is the, the, they're not just thinking of him as Swayam Bhagavan, but they think of him as their most lovable personality. Mother Yashoda and Nanda Maharaj they love Krishna in that mood of parental affection. The cowherd boys, they love Krishna in the friendship in Satyarat. The gopis love Krishna in the Madhurya. And all the people of Vrindavan were all absorbed in love for Krishna in different rasas. Of course, Krishna also has his servants there in Vrindavan. People like Rakta and Patra, they are Krishna's servants in Braja. But generally, the mood in Braja is Madhurya Ras. That although they're in having some friendly relationship or 
central station. The, the, the mood which is predominant there in Vrindavan is Madhurya, this conjugal love for Krishna. So Uddhava has come to Vrindavan on the order of Krishna. One reason was to deliver the letter which Krishna was sending to the gopis. But the other reason was that Krishna wants Uddhava to actually learn from the gopis. Some people wrongly think that Krishna sent Uddhava to, to Vrindavan to give Gyan, to give knowledge to the gopis. But Uddhava didn't, didn't think like that himself. He came there, he, he's learning not only from the gopis, but from Nanda Maharaj, Mother Yashoda, from everyone there in Vrindavan, how to love Krishna. No, he was came there in Vrindavan. He spent the whole night talking to Nanda Maharaj. They were discussing Krishna the whole night. Nanda Maharaj immediately wanted to know from Uddhava, does Krishna still remember us? And Nanda Maharaj was recounting all of Krishna's different pastimes, how Krishna protected them from, from, the, the, from the wind, and from the rain and from the fire, how Krishna had protected them from these different dangers. Srinivarta <laughs> had come in the form of the whirlwind and taken away Krishna, but Krishna had killed him. And Indra had sent his rain clouds to inundate Vrindavan, but Krishna had picked up the Govardhan hill and protected everyone. On, on, on a couple of occasions, there was forest fires. And Krishna would fall, swallow the forest fire and save everyone. And then there were so many different demons who'd come there to Braja. Like Putana, when Krishna was still a baby, Putana had come, taking the form of a most beautiful gopi. And then there were demons like Vatsasura, Kesi, different demons all coming there to Vrindavan, all trying to do harm to the people of Vrindavan, and especially they wanted to kill Krishna. So Nanda Maharaj was recounting all of the different events which had taken place while Krishna was present there in Vrindavan. And he passed the whole night with along with Uddhava. Uddhava was so anxious to hear everything. He wanted to hear all the glories of Krishna. 
вместе с утром, который так жаждал слышать Кришну. And what better person to hear than from Nanda Maharaj, who personally witnessed many of these events? И от кого же еще услышать, можно услышать, вот тот самый тип человек, для того, чтобы это рассказывать, сам Нанда Махарадж, который лично видел все эти игры Кришны. We read about it, but Nanda Maharaj was personally witness. He has seen all of these different events. Мы сейчас читаем об этом, а Нанда Махарадж он лично видел все это. So in this way, Uddhava passed the night, and then the dawn. The dawn came. The gopis all arose, and they began immediately. They're loudly singing the glories of Lord Krishna. So we learned the wonderful sadhana of the gopis. We want to develop the mood of the gopis. Then here's a very nice sadhana. Wake up early in the morning and loudly sing the glories of Lord Krishna. We often see devotees with their hand in the big bag disappear. <laughs> but the gopis, like many other devotees, Haridas Thakur, Kaurika Sridhar, they loudly chant the holy name of Krishna. And because they were feeling the presence of Krishna, they were joyful. <coughs> So you can see the Sankirtan, the mood of Sankirtan there among the gopis, how they're glorifying Krishna. And the moment they open their eyes in the morning, they're just glorifying Krishna. But they're not just only singing about Krishna, they're also engaging in practical activities. In the village, everyone has some duty to perform. Many of these gopis were married ladies. They had husbands, they had children, they had duties to do. And of course, they have cows, many cows. And cows are domestic animals. They need to be taken care of. We need the cows, and the cows also need us. So the gopis keep themselves busy from morning to night. They've got cows to take care of. They have to feed the cows, they have to bathe the cows, they have to give cows water to drink. They have to milk the cows, and when the milk then they have to churn it into butter. If you just keep the milk, it will soon go off. So you have to use the milk to make butter. And the butter you can keep for some time. And how do they make the butter? They churn the butter by hand with the ropes. They're churning. But as they're churning, they're also singing the glories of Lord Shri Krishna. And 
they know the glories of Krishna because they're from Vrindavan. They know all the different demons which have come there to Vrindavan and try to do harm to the people of Vrindavan. So they're constantly singing and remembering Krishna and feeling his presence. In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna also describes in the sixth chapter, there's a beautiful verse where Krishna says, for one who sees me everywhere and sees everything in me, I am never lost to him, nor is he ever lost to me. So this is the mood of the gopis. This is the example of the gopis. Seeing Krishna everywhere, in everything. Just by chanting his holy name and remembering his pastimes and singing about his pastimes, they feel the presence of Krishna. Просто воспевая его имена и думая о нем, вспоминая его игры, они чувствуют его присутствие рядом. And because they're feeling the presence of Krishna, there is no inauspiciousness. It's all auspicious. И поскольку они чувствуют присутствие Кришны, нет ничего не благоприятного. Все вокруг только благоприятно. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is described. Krishna Surya Sama Maya Haya Anita Yahan Krishna Tahannahi Maya Haya Adika Krishna is like the sun and Maya is like darkness. Chaitanya Charitamrita объясняется, что Кришна он подобен солнцу, а Maya подобна темноте. In the presence of the sun there can be no darkness. So in the same way where we remember Krishna there can be no Maya. As soon as the electricity current goes off, immediately the room becomes dark. But as soon as the power comes back, then immediately the light is there, is restored. Но когда электричество снова включается, также включается свет. And so in the same way, when we remember Krishna, there can be no Maya. Подобно этому, когда мы помним Кришну, не может быть речи о Майе. We are cultivating Krishna consciousness. We want to be conscious of Krishna. Мы культивируем сознание Кришны. Мы хотим быть сознающими Кришны. Some devotees point out that first we have to be conscious and then we become Krishna conscious. So first be conscious. Be conscious of what? Be conscious first of all that I'm trying to be a devotee. I'm practicing Krishna con I'm practicing this process. Be conscious of our behavior, how we dress, how we act, what we speak. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, the example is there, but Raghunath Das Goswami, how Raghunath Das Goswami came to join Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Raghunath Das was from a very wealthy family. He left all the wealth behind to go and join Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Mahaprabhu gave him to Swarup Damodar. Swarup Damodar was a secretary of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Lord Chaitanya told Swarup Damodar, you take care of this young man, Raghunath. 
хороших подарок, который был бы еще пятьдесят лет. Он сказал, забудьте, пожалуйста, об этом молодом человеке. Когда Рагуна Дада Свами пришел к Читанию Махапрабху, Махапрабху, он был еще мол. По сочетанию был на здесь евреев в течение 48 лет. И была разница в возрасте, потому что он уже переходил в более зрелый возраст, а Рагуна Дада Свами был еще совсем мол. Just like Shri Prabhupada, sometimes people would come to Prabhupada, Prabhupada, I want to surrender to you, I want to join you, I want to be with your movement. And then Prabhupada say, all right, you go with him and serve him. And this way Prabhupada would send his devotee, put them under the care of a senior devotee, maybe a sannyasi or a GDC or a temple person. So similarly, Raghunath Das came to Puri and Lord Chaitanya put him under the care of Swarup Damodha. So after some time, Raghuna Das had some questions. He wanted to know about what his behavior should be, what he should do now that he joined Mahaprabhu's movement. So he approached Swarup Damodar and he asked him. And then Swarup Damodar went to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and inquired on behalf of Raghuna what should be Raghuna's behavior. And Lord Chaitanya then gave the instructions to Raghuna that you should you should not hear what the common people talk about and don't speak like them either. And we see this instruction also is there in the Upadesha Amrita. Srila Rupa Goswami describes about Prajapa, that devotees want to avoid Prajapa, nonsense talk. And it also mentioned about don't associate with non-devotees. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was giving a similar instruction to Raghuna Das that you don't hear what the common people say and don't talk like them either. And then Lord Chaitanya also told Raghunath that he should he should not eat opulent foodstuffs and he should not dress in a luxurious manner. Raghunath Das had come from a wealthy family and he'd been used to living in luxury, eating opulent food and dressing also opulent. But now he's come to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's movement and he's come to renounce everything. So it, he was not becoming a sannyasi, but he was actually a Babaji. He was taking the renounce order, the, the, the highest level of renouncing. 
он усугубился в первых восемнадцатых движениях шитьяками, и ему нужно было отречься от всего. Он не принимал саньясу, на самом деле перешел сразу на самый высокий уровень, это уровень Бабаджи, полного отречения. And so this was this mood was also taken by Rupa and Sanaka and the others who came there to Vrindavan. They were all Babaji state. They were taking that mood of renunciation. Where the white cloth. White cloth is the para color of the Paramahamsas. And they wear, of course, not the full length dhoti, but the dhoti just goes to the knees. And they don't wear kirtars because kirtars that's actually not really Hindu, that's not Vaishnava dress, they, they just wrap cloth around. And so this way they dress very simply and they eat also very frugally. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also gave the instruction constantly chant the holy name of Krishna and worship Radha and Krishna in your heart. So in this way, Mahaprabhu was giving instructions to Radhanath Das Goswami how he should behave, what should be his standard of behavior. And so here we're hearing about the gopis and their standard of behavior, how they live, what is their behavior. When we talk about Following in the mood of the gopis, gopi bhakti pada kamalayor das dasam. Following in the footsteps of the gopis of Vrindavan. We are talking about how to follow the footsteps of the gopis of Vrindavan or the stories of gopi. And so we see from the gopis' behavior how they absorb themselves in the chanting of the holy name. So this is the business, this is the real business of devotees to constantly chant the glories to Krishna, to speak only about Krishna, to chant his name and sing songs about Krishna. Повторять его имя, именно воспевать его славу, обсуждать его и его деяния, постоянно находиться в этом обсуждении. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu only spoke philosophy with a very few, very small number of people. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu обсуждал философию только с очень ограниченным количеством людей. You know, he spoke with like Prakashananda Saraswati and Benares. And he spoke with Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya and Jagannath Puri. And he discussed with Ramananda Rai. But generally Mahaprabhu was just simply engaging in Sankirtan, having Sankirtan all the people, the mass of people, Sankirtan, and singing the glories of Krishna, singing beautiful songs about Krishna. So we are so fortunate, we have wonderful Vaishnava songs written for us, by devotees like Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur and Narottam Das Thakur and others, they've written beautiful songs for us to sing. 
очень хорошо, и поскольку у нас очень есть много песен, которые написаны для нас, бабки немного на кону, народам там что-то такое, с другими отчаянными, они создали эти замечательные песни, которые мы можем успевать. In the times of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur Prabhupada, in, in his presence in the time of the Gauri every morning they would sing, every day they would sing many, many songs about Lord Krishna and Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Во времена Бхакти Сиданта Сарасвати Тварам Чайтани Махти каждый день они воспевали песни, прославляющие Господа. Even today, if you go in the villages in Bangladesh, I've heard that in the villages in Bangladesh where there's Vaishnavas are, there are some villages in Bangladesh, Vaishnavas. So the, the people there they sing all the songs of Bhakti Nantaku. They know all of the songs. Даже сейчас, если поедете в Бангладеш, то пойдете там в какую-нибудь вашнавскую деревню, а там есть целая деревня вайшнавов, то у них люди знают все песни Бхакти Нонтакура и постоянно распевают. Конечно же, как бы Наратам Дастакур написал очень много прекрасных песен. Of course, it's easier for them being Bengals because the songs are in Bengali, so they can appreciate more easily the meaning of the hymn. You know, we don't know the language so well, you know, so the Bengali language, we miss a lot of the, the sweetness which is there in all of these songs. Мы, конечно же, не знаем этот язык настолько хорошо, и поэтому мы не можем понять но и всю сладость, которая находится в этих песнях. But actually, uh, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati said, in the future, people will learn Bengali just to understand Chaitanya Charitamrita. Но Бхакти Сиданта сказал, на самом деле, Бхакти Сиданта Саксанта сказал, на самом деле, что в будущем люди будут учить Бенгали просто для того, чтобы понимать Чайтанья Чайтанья. And Srila Prabhupada also said about singing Bengali songs, he said, you must know the meaning, otherwise there's no benefit. Just like sometimes you hear the young person reciting uh, Gita Govinda, which is all the sense Gita Govinda, Jayadeva Goswami is written in Gita Govinda. You know, it's very beautiful songs about Radha and Krishna and Krishna's pastimes. But it's all in Sanskrit. And if we don't know the language, that we won't understand the meaning. Они описывают отношения рады к Гите, но тем не менее, они на санскрите, если вы знаете язык, вы не поймете этого. But at the same time, you just hear it. The sound vibration is so, so transcendental. It's so stimulating that you, you can just appreciate, we can just, it, it's very drawing, you feel, oh, it's so wonderful, it must be something so wonderful. We don't even know the meaning, but just the way it's sung and the, the emotion which comes with it is so touching and so powerful that we want to understand it more. Но тем не менее, просто когда мы слышим эту звуковую вибрацию, мы восхищаемся, понимаем, что это что-то великолепное, что у нас возникает желание понять, потому что это действительно затрагивает нашу душу. Just like, you know, we think that Yenilo Primadana When we hear that, you know, that immediately a, a, a awakens a feeling of separation and longing and we feel, we think more about the departure of so many great souls who have left the world. And so the Acharyas who wrote these songs They had that ability to not only make the make it a beautiful song, but to put also the meaning that they, 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 they put 
the effect of the song was to arouse particular emotions, particular feelings. Для Чари, которые писали эти национальные песни, они не только просто не только заставляли там какие-то красивые гимны, они знали, как вложить определенную эмоцию, чтобы эта песня могла открывать ее в сердцах людей, в сердцах людей. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would be always singing these different songs. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu все время воспевал эти разные песни. Just like at Rathyatra time, he would be singing that song about, uh, well, it's it's like an ordinary song, but it has a special mood in relation to Lord Chaitanya. Подобно тому, как во время Рахманиатры он пел особую песню. Это на самом деле обычная песня, но она имеет определенное настроение относительно вот в этом нарке. И so people would hear, they thought, oh, he's just singing an ordinary song. But those who were actually knowing the the significance of the song, they could understand the real, the deeper, the deepest meaning, how it was in relation to Krishna. И люди слушали, слышали это, говорили, о, он всего лишь поет обычную песню, но те люди, которые понимали это настроение, они могли оценить его, они видели, как эта песня связана с Кришной. So here you have the gopis in Vrindavan and how they begin the morning singing songs, just like we go to temple we sing the Vastika every morning and there's many other morning songs like Viva Varishesha and Udila Aruna, these are all morning songs. И здесь мы читаем о том, как гопи пели утренние песни, подобно тому, как мы приходим в храм и тоже пойдем утренние баджаны, как Шигурла, Штука и прочие, которые мы You know, you sing these songs and it actually wakens you up. You know, you may be feeling a little sleepy, but when you start singing these songs, they actually awaken you. Now night is over, it's time to wake up and chant the holy name. So the same way the gopis go into the cow barns, we get up in the morning, we go and take, start taking the cows and they're singing all these wonderful songs. And so this way the whole village is so transcendental, the atmosphere is so auspicious. И в результате во всей деревне атмосфера становится очень трансцендентной, очень благоприятной. Okay, It doesn't mean that when we're chanting, if Maya can sleep in, there is no Krishna in our chanting. It means you're chanting with offense. It means you're not chanting purely. Вопрос в том, там есть Кришна, нет места Майи, но бывает во время нашего воспевания Майя все равно проникает через наш ум. Означает ли это, что в нашем воспевании нет Кришны? Это означает, что вы воспеваете с оскорблением. So when we chant, we have to chant with proper attention. If we are chanting with feeling from the heart, we have to, like Sachinanda and Swami always says, chant from the heart, right? And Prabhupada said our chanting should be like the child separated from the mother. Воспевать из сердца. И Шила Рупада объясняет, что когда мы повторяем мантру и два года подобно тому, как ребенок плачет и зовет свою мать. We have to chant with that real feeling, with that longing to be with Krishna. Мы должны воспевать с этим настоящим чувством, с этим стремлением быть с Кришной. But when we hear Prabhupada's chanting, you can feel the longing in Prabhupada's voice. Когда мы слышим запись воспевания Шила Рупада, то мы можем услышать So when we chant with proper care and attention, then you 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 know. И когда вы все-таки вы воспеваете с правильным вниманием 
и исправлю настроение, здоровье, что тогда у вас не будет места для Майи. So I said loud chanting. The gopis sang loudly. Loud chanting. They will give you more light, more attention. Поэтому я говорю о громком воспевании, как гопи, очень громком воспевании. Тогда было правильное внимание. But if our chanting is, oh, my iPhone, oh, my iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> We're thinking so many other things. What's for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> We're not thinking the whole thing. Yeah. Okay, any other questions? We hear that our prayochana is love of God, but does it mean that the love of God, love of God, love of God, but does it mean that the our prayochana really is to serve the love between the uh, Radha and Krishna and love between Krishna and his devotees? Is that the goal to serve that love? Love means service. If you love someone, certainly you just like if you have a child, you will love your child definitely you will be serving your child all the time. You know, we all often tell the story about the woman is sitting at home. And the home is all dirty, and the children are all dirty, and they're not doing any homework. And the husband comes home and says, what's going on? Why is the house not clean? There's no supper ready. And the wife says, oh, I'm just thinking how much I love you. No, you love. Huh? You don't clean the house. You didn't cook any supper. House is dirty. Children are dirty. You know, what, what kind of love is this? Love means service. Cannot separate. Talking about Lord Chaitanya's instruction, you mentioned uh, to worship Radha Krishna in the heart. What does it exactly mean? Can you please explain it a little bit in short? Well, it means you keep your mind fixed on the lotus feet of Krishna. You have to fix the mind, the, the heart needs to fix the mind. The mind is not the ear, the mind is the ear. So our focus, our concentration has to be on the, the Lord of Peter, God and Krishna, the worship of God and Krishna. And we have to be constantly thinking how we can serve, how we can give pleasure to the divine couple. Our chanting of Hare Krishna is a prayer that oh, please engage me in your service. But of course it's a prayer, but it's also the answer to the prayers, because by chanting the holy name, we're engaging in the service. But the devotee naturally feels himself unqualified, that I need to do something. I'm not doing anything for Radha and Krishna. Let me do something for them. 
Он говорит, дайте мне возможность сделать что-то для них. Я ничего не делаю. Я хочу сделать что-то, послужить ради Кришны. So и таким образом нам нужно занять свой ум, постоянно думать, не постоянно мыслями о том, что я могу сделать для ради Кришны, как я могу послужить. Держите ум сфокусированным на Кришне и не давайте ему убежать и думать о каких-то вещах материального мира. Делайте все для удовлетворения Господа. Прабхупада объясняет, что в материальном мире, если мужчина берет цветок, то он подарит его своей подружке. А преданный отдаст цветок Кришне. Поэтому каждое, каждое подношение, все происходит только для Рады Кришны. When we serve Lord Chaitanya as a Pachitatva or as a Lord Chaitanya, does it, all, does it mean that we are also serving Lord Krishna? Well, if you, if you have proper knowledge, if you understand properly who is Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, so when we serve Gornitai, generally the, the mood in the worship of Gornitai, we consider Gornitai not to be different from Krishna and Balaram. Если у вас есть правильное понимание, правильное знание и правильное настроение, то да, но обычно, когда мы служим Гормитаем, обычно мы делаем это в настроении того, что мы служим Кришна Баларам. Now where Lord Balaram is, Radha and Krishna are not. Balaram will never be in the presence of Radha Ram. И там, где присутствует Баларама, там не будет Рады Кришны, потому что Баларама не находится рядом с Радхами. You look at Radha Madhava as the Saki, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is there. There's no Nityananda. Если вы посмотрите на Радха Мадхава Аса Саки, Господь Читания, он, да, там присутствует, но Нитянанда на алтаре нет. You go down the road to the, you go to the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you can see Gandhar, Vita, Giri, Hari there. Если вы пойдете в храм Шичтайса Сада Махарада, вы можете увидеть там Гандхарда и Хари Божества, и там тоже есть госпочитание, но не Нитянанда. Там, где есть Горнитай, это отдельный алтарь от Рады Кришны. Is delivering the fallen souls. И когда вы поклоняетесь городу Горнита, вы поклоняетесь Кришне Баларам. Их настроение в том, чтобы спасать большие души. So generally, when we worship Gornita, we want to have that mood. Parama Karuna Pahudvijana Nitai Gorachandra Sabha Avatara Sarasiramani Kebala Ananda Kanda. That these two lords are supremely merciful. Because they're giving a process which is joyful. И как обычно, когда мы поклоняемся, то у нас должно быть это настроение того, что эти два Господа, они самые милостивые, потому что они дают процесс самым большим душам. Это процесс очень радостный. И Господь Нитянанда, Он спас даже Джагая Манха, и мы обычно думаем о них в этом настроении того, что они дают любовь даже самым вашим душам. Но если же вы хотите поклоняться Раде Кришне в этом настроении Вриндавна, то вы туда не, не приглашаете Баларама. Баларам has his own gopis. У Баларама свои гопи. Баларам also has Madhurya Ras. He's also got Rasali. He also has his Ras with the gopis. But different gopis from Krishna's gopis. 
Но у него также есть кулара, и своя раса била, своя макури раса в гопи, но это уже другие гопи, отличные от тех гопи, которые с Кришной. Джай. Гуру Бахарадж.